What a world! The thrill of victory. And the agony of defeat. Spanning the globe. To bring you a bunch of stuff. Disjointed, disorganized. And yet, like pulled together in one cohesive theme of spanning the globe to bring you the constant variety of stories that are going to make your head crack open like an egg. The title's a little long and we're working on it, nevertheless. This is Wretched Radio. Ireland, oh Ireland, what's going on in Ireland? It sure would appear that Christianity is losing its influence as Ireland now voting for abortions. That's a big change. I think the only nation in the EU that does not legalize abortions is Malta. And by the way, two things about Malta. <laughs> I I want to go look it up. I was with Phil Johnson from Grace to You recently, and he said that Malta is his wife Darlene's favorite place in the whole world. And they've he's constantly traveling overseas. Typically, he's going to Master's Academies, Master Academy International, been telling you about this ministry. They equip pastors and indigenous indigenous pastors in their own country how to rightly divide the word of truth so master seminary graduates train pastors how to preach rightly how to counsel well how to apply the scriptures it's an outstanding ministry they're in 16 different countries you can support tmai if and you'd like wretched.org slash pastor wretched.org slash pastor and i do not know how many of the 16 countries to which Phil Johnson has traveled in, but his wife loves the Isle of Malta. Second point of interest, Don't Stub Your Toe is actually written now in Maltesian. I think it, I think that's Maltesian. I think that's the, what they call their language, Maltesian. <laughs> Don't Stub Your Toe being distributed by a group of Christians who are consumed, concerned about the fate of the ungodly. Just amazing. I think now Don't Stub Your Toe is in German. It's in a Spanish. It is in Maltesian. It's being translated right now, I believe, into Romanian, and I'm forgetting another. Oh, I guess it's in English. <laughs> well, there's always that, right? We're trying to get it translated into Canadian and Australian, but we just haven't gotten that far yet. We're working... Just a few tweaks here and there. If you're looking for an evangelistic booklet, that's not a bad one to consider giving out even for Christmas. Wretched.org slash toe in Ireland now. They have not only legalized abortion. Headline says, Ireland votes to allow girls under 16 to have abortions without parental consent. Of course. Have you ever been to Magic Mountain? Or Six Flags, if you're in Minnesota, to yeah, Valley Fair. High. I can't remember what this thing was called in Valley Fair. It's in Shakopee, Minnesota. It you, you just go up, 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 up. And then it drops you like a stone and you go the power flying. Tower? What is it called? The, the power tower? The big one that just goes straight up and down? No. No, no, no. Not the power tower. That, that That's kind of like that slingshot deal. Oh, the, the big swing? Ah, uh, no, that's not the big swing. It's it's like, it's got one of those names where you should know better. It's like the Cobra or Death's Doorstep, something like that. We went on a number of years ago. <laughs> when we went on that thing, it was the whole family. <laughs> they take the picture, you know, when you're coming down the hill to, you know, so you buy it for like $80. The one time in my life I actually regret not buying a photo because I'm telling you, abject terror. That thing just, boom, down it goes, just like culture. This is this is the trajectory of every society ever, always, and, and, and individually and collectively. And people don't like the slippery slope argument. I'm not sure why. I remember Bill O'Reilly speaking of Irish people. Bill O'Reilly was, nah, I don't appreciate the slippery slope argument. Well, let me just give you a few instances where it's actually slipped right down the slope How's about the marriage issue? How's about the abortion issue? Look what's going on in Ireland. They just voted to legalize abortion. Now, 
If you're 16, you can have one without parental consent. Nice. It's repealing its pro-life Eighth Amendment. It did that in May. Okay, so what do we got? June, July, August, September. Uh, Seven months later, we've got this. This week, the... uh, I don't know how to pronounce this because it's got a mark above the A. It's not an umlaut. It's just one little mm, D-A-I-L. I'm guessing Irish Parliament-like. Forgive me if I'm wrong, my Irish friends. This week, they debated a bill to legalize abortion for any reason, up to 12 weeks of pregnancy and up to six months in a wide variety of circumstances. I don't want it. Kill it. It would force taxpayers, furthermore, to pay for abortions. It would actually force Catholic hospitals, they make no distinction, to provide abortions, strictly limiting conscience protections for medical professionals. Ireland, Ireland, Ireland. This is really, really sad. People can't join the army make a contract, get teeth whitened, or use a sunbed under 18 without parental consent. But you can get an abortion. We're the government. We'll take your children from here. Boy, the nerve. Honestly, look, this is this is not a shot at everybody's a school teacher. I say you've got a magnificent ministry if you're a public school teacher. Now, there's recognizing I'm not aiming at them. But the mindset in so much of public education is parents, we don't need to inform them that there's going to be a boy showering in the girls' locker room. We, we'll we take care of this. We know what's better. We won't report that the child wants to have an abortion because the parents might not let them. Yeah, that, that's, that's right, because you see, God gave them to us. We loan them to you to read them, write them, and arithmetic them. That's it. Story number two from around the globe. This is in, well, apparently, where is this woman from? She's from Spain. I've never been to Spain. Kind of like the music. You know, the rains there stay mainly on the plane. That too, Joey. We just just conflated Three Dog Night and My Fair Lady. That's Elvis did. I've never been to Spain. That was something. But I've been to me. (laughs) Listen. That's Chuck Negron spinning in his grave, and he's not dead yet. (laughs) Transgender Miss Universe, she's a contestant. She's now the odds-on favorite to win. Well, I guess people gamble for anything these days. They've got some odds. The bookies are saying the transgender Miss Universe, she's probably going to win the thing. Angela Ponce is the name that he would like us to use. A biological male who has undergone gender reassignment surgery and hormone therapy has not only become the first trans contestant in the Miss Universe competition, but the odds makers hands down favorite. Well, you know, because it's cool. Okay. Let us, if you don't mind, harken back to yesterday's Wretched Radio program. What upsets us about that? Let's not lose sight of the of the real problem here. This is not the root. This is merely the external fruit that we're seeing from godless people in a godless culture. That's what should grieve us. They are lost. They are hell-bound. They are they're singing ACDC as they travel very fast down the slope into a descent into sin. That's what should trouble us. When, when we see these abortion laws, of course we should be troubled about the babies. We should be troubled, too, about the mommies and the daddies. That's what should trouble us. Article from, I believe, oh, good, Minnesota State University. This is in Mankato. Yeah, it is. Yep. You saw this story? Eric Sprankle uh... accused God of impregnating the Virgin Mary without consent. (sighs) Just, just, you know, just blasphemy. That's just blasphemy. I hate to say it, by the way, but I don't think this type of blasphemy is is limited to people outside of the church. More and more, the more of evangelical Christianity, the shows, the zip lines, the shenanigans, the football rap that, that they do inside of church, football rap, 
foot about the football about the big Georgia yeah. mm. Alabama battle. Game. Do we? We'll share that with you. I'll Do we really have well. to? Well, no, we don't have to, but we just want to be a blessing. The more I see of that, just just call yourself something else. Would you stop with the Christian thing because you're not? It's so far removed from biblical Christianity, it's almost unidentifiable. You can't help but think that people from the first century church would see what's going on in so many of these silly centers that they would shake their heads and wonder, what religion is that? That looks more like paganism certainly emotionalism that it looks like biblical christianity and so it's not just the world it's actually the church so here's what we'll do yeah i mean yeah this will drive the rate talk about the the descent into low ratings we'll play that for you next on wretched radio 